This is the Cannondale Super 6 Evo High Mod of EF Education First Pro Cycling Team. This particular bike belongs to Lachlan Morton and well, compared to last year's bike, it looks completely different. Let's take a close look at it. Now the frame hasn't actually changed, it's just the paintwork, which I'll come on to shortly, but something that Cannondale build this frame with is called Ballistec High Mod Carbon, and the same material is also used in the forks. Now, just sticking with the forks briefly, the lower headset bearing is inch and a quarter, and the upper inch and an eighth, which is pretty much standard. Now, this frame though, is actually compatible with both electronic as well as mechanical group sets. So if you're using a mechanical group set, you can simply bolt on the underside of the down tube here, a little cable stop to allow your cables to go into and then they run on the underside of the bottom bracket. But if you're running an electronic group set such as DI2 from Shimano or EPS from Campagnolo, you simply run those cables through a small hole in the head tube, meaning that you don't have to have what some people might think is an unsightly little boss on the underside of the down tube for cable stops. So the Super 6 has been around for quite some time and up until last year when Cannondale introduced the System 6 aero bike, well this was the only bike that was available to riders to use and I think it still stood the test of time because it still looks great and riders are still opting to use it and it's very light as we'll get onto shortly. Now the paintwork is not the only thing they've changed for the season, they've also changed the logo of the Cannondale brand so it's gone back to the early 90s, an era I remember fondly and I think it matches up really well with that paint. Let's move on to the components then, shall we? Because first up, we've got an FSA K-Force carbon fibre seat post, and that's got 25 millimetres of setback. Fitted into that is a Prologo Nargo C3 carbon fibre saddle. Now, that's got a carbon fibre shell on the base, carbon fibre rails, and then interestingly, Prologo actually use something called CPC technology on the tops of their saddles, or on tops of some of them that you can buy, and well that acts kind of like an octopus in its suckers, but in a really microscopic detail. It's something which I believe astronauts have used as well as Formula One drivers. The idea behind it is that it creates kind of a suction effect on your shorts to prevent you from moving around on the saddle when you don't want to, but when you do want to it still allows you to do so. Now what you can do is actually remove this small little plastic piece from the rear of the saddle and actually get replacement ones with the flag of your nation for instance. So uh, yeah, the team of Mr. Trick there. So the squad have the option of either Vision or FSA products, which are actually the same parent company who own them. In the case of Lachlan Morton, he's gone for the Vision Metron 5D integrated handlebar, so an aero bar setup. The stem is 130 millimeters in length and the bars 42 centimeters wide. So the cables run internally on these handlebars and then pop out just towards the central part. There's also a GPS mount fitted, which covers all of the DI2 bits and pieces. The DI2 junction box though is in the end of the handlebar but just inside of it I can see the Bluetooth module which allows the mechanics to actually adjust the gears and such from a tablet or phone. Fitted onto the bars are a pair of Shimano Jura Ace DI2 levers and we've got Prologo handlebar tape too. The squad are provided with different types of wheels from Vision, but here we've got a pair of Metron 55 SL tubulars fitted with some Vittoria Corsa 25mm wide tyres. Braking power, that's provided by Shimano and it's the 9100 calipers, and then fitted into the brake shoes are some Vision carbon fibre specific brake blocks which are designed of course for carbon fibre rims to prevent any overheating and also provide the best braking possible. Moving on to the Duralias, well, we've got Shimano Jura Ace DI2 9150, which is the latest iteration of the electronic group set. Now it's going to get a little bit interesting for you because the cassette is a Shimano Ultegra one and the ratio is 11 to 30. So a couple of teeth more in the lowest sprocket than what we usually see. And Morton himself is quite an adventurer because he does tend to go on some pretty extreme rides. The chain rings take a bit of an interesting turn too because Morton has opted for a 38 tooth inner as opposed to the standard 39 that we tend to see. He has gone though for a 53 outer, although this ring in particular is optimized to work best with a 42 tooth 
shift in a chainring because the profiles and the shifting pins and the ramps and everything are designed that way. However, they do work, probably just not quite as well under extreme torque or load. The FSA chainrings are fitted onto a Cannondale hologram SISL chain set which uses the BB30 standard bottom bracket. And the change actually in sponsorship for this season is with the power meter. So fitted onto the spider of these cranks is a power to max model replacing last year's SRM. Then fitted into the cranks are a pair of Shimano SBDSL 9100 pedals. Mm. Now, finishing touches on the bike include more visible logos and branding from the sponsors such as on the handlebars and the seat post so that the cameras can really pick that up when the race is on. We've also got a K3 number mount here which is mounted just by the rear brake caliper and then of course the Pro Issue name sticker just here on the top tube. And then of course we are going to need hydrating because it's pretty hot down here at the Tour Down Under so we've got some tax carbon fibre bottle cages. Measurements, well the height of the saddle from the top of it down there to the centre of the bottom bracket is 76 centimetres, then from the tip of the saddle to the centre of the bars, 58, and the drop from saddle to handlebar, that's 11 centimetres. Now the weight of the bike comes in at 6.9 kilos on the dot, which is pretty light considering well, we've got some deep section wheels plus an integrated handlebar. Let's have a listen to that free hub. So there we are, the Super 6 Evo High Mod of Lachlan Morton for the 2019 season. Let me know what you think of it down there in the comments section. I think it looks great in this new colourway, but I want to know your thoughts. Also, remember to like and share this video with your friends. Give it a big old thumbs up. And don't forget too to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. And well, for another cracking video, click just over here.